great. Was well, anything need to go up? Sorry, man. Your flash is full of blind mails. Like, what the fuck's going on? Oh, oh I just. Uh, it's alright. It's alright. Right. Right. I was just trying to. Look. That flash is so bright. It's yeah, killing me. <laughs> uh, are the levels up here? Can you hear stuff or what? Okay. Uh, we say this at every show we play, but we really, really mean this. Um, we do a lot of talking between our songs, and a lot of people think of it as us getting on our high horse and preaching. But in no way do we mean to convey that we're better than anybody because we're in a fucking shit band. Um, we're the same as you guys. If anybody has anything they'd like to talk about, feel free to come up and <laughs> tell me to shut up. Um, Shut up, Yella. <laughs> no drunks allowed. <laughs> so feel free to come up and talk. Alright. Uh, <clears throat> song's called Part Me Down Today. It's on our new CD. Uh, it'll be here soon. <laughs> <laughs>
whole like two weeks I knew they were going to come. I was kind of like, kind of like thinking about, fuck man, what am I going to say in front of my folks? <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of special, but it kind of turned out kind of sour. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're leaving for tour Thursday. Um, so uh, we have like new t-shirts and stuff and seven inches and uh, a 12 inch. Um, so fucking... I'm selling the fucking shitty product, so we have money for the tour. If anybody wants to buy anything, um, there's also an awesome zine down there out of Tucson called War Crime. And if you're into politics, um, it's really good for that. But I mean, this is punk rock, so why is anybody into politics? But uh, you know, uh, or if you're even interested, funny. if you're interested in finding out about um, political things, um, activism that's going around. Around the country, around the world. It's a great uh, resource, resource of knowledge. Um, also, if anybody knows um, about Food Not Bombs here, Food Not Bombs, I think, is in kind of a struggle about finding a uh, new house to cook at. Is that correct? <coughs> so, um, if anybody knows of a kitchen or anything, um, please contact one of us. Um, if anybody has a house with a empty kitchen on like a Saturday afternoon, um, that'd be great. And uh, if anybody's interested in joining Food Up Bombs or uh, the local cop watch here, I want to know about those organizations. Um, get in touch with uh, any of us because we know we'll be able to fill you in. Um, anyways, I know. I'll do it. Um, once again, thank you. On deaf ears, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
so much staying in. Um, thanks to Mike too for putting us on the show and for uh, putting out our record again. Uh, we love you for that. We love you too, Kimber and Modified People, for having this place because there isn't any other place like this. <coughs> and uh, it's much appreciated. Uh. If anybody wants to talk to us about anything that we sing about, please feel free. Um, the PA can go up a tad. I don't want to sound like some bands, but I can't hear myself in the monitors. Okay. Some bands? <laughs> what bands? What bands? <laughs> Rainer Maria. Well, they have good voices. <laughs> I want to go. They actually them. sing. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much. And uh, this is our last one. The song is called A Requiem. And it's kind of lamenting a death. Um, it's, I'm not sure. If hardcore, punk rock, whatever you want to call it, DIY, art for art's sake, um, is dead, but it really seems like it is, and um, sometimes I feel that no one gives a fuck. I don't think it's dead, I just think like it's kind of like DIY is kind of losing a battle as far as uh, fucking, I don't know, just as far as DIY goes. Um, what's DIY? DIY stands for do-it-yourself. It's just an ethic where bands, rather than depending on other people to fuel what they're trying to say, um, do things on their own, with their own blood, their own sweat, their own money, whatever. Um, just doing it yourself. And uh, it seems like punk rock hardcore is getting so popular that it's easy to not do it yourself and have someone Basically, else do it for you. Basically, too, what DIY is, at least for this band, I guess there's no actual definition, just like I don't feel there's like a definition for punk rock or anything. But um, DIY for this band is just basically all of us, it's like this is our one ultimate freedom that nothing can touch outside except us. And basically it's like, well, when you go to like, let's say a major label or whatever, you kind of, that, your band becomes your job and that's fine, you know, whatever. If uh, fucking bands, you know, they won't, or want to get paid and stuff, um, make, live off the band, that's fine. Um, but basically it's like, you put your, as far as punk rock goes, and I think everybody who goes into punk rock, you know um, that the ethics of punk rock is basically, um, this is ours and this is our piece that's not a part, or that, that's, that's ours to control. It's not controlled by uh, corporate whatever fucks, you know, whatever. Um, kind of it about. goes beyond the major label thing. I mean. A lot of these indie labels have uh, P and D deals through bigger distributors, and distributors are 
probably in the whole show, but regardless, if anybody wants to talk to us about anything yeah, like yeah, this, yeah. please feel free. This is our last song. What you come to see is what the next we Alright. Yep. Thank you. Let's go.